Assalamu alaikum and welcome to technology explore today in this video I am going to show you how you can do uh, SolarWorks motion analysis using gravity and contact between uh, the different parts so at the end we will be able to do this type of simulation of um, gravity wheel so keep watching this video till end and uh, I will leave the download link for these files in the description of video Okay, uh, these are the three files wheel, shaft and ball. So I have uh, created these three files in SolidWorks and uh, those are very easy and uh, let's import them in SolidWorks assembly. So for, for that start for, from SolidWorks assembly and uh, then uh, close this dialog. Now uh, open the folder where all three files are saved. Click and drag them into SolidWorks assembly one by one. So now what you have to do, uh, you have to fix the shaft. So right click on it and then select fix. Then as you can see the ball, uh, um, I cannot move the ball because it is uh, fixed. So right click on it and then make it float. Then make a um, concentric mate for shaft and uh, the wheel for multiple selections press, press control uh, key press and hold control key so then make a coincident mate of the shaft face and this face of wheel now uh, what we have to do uh, we have to make some mates so for that uh, first of all make the planes visible then select the ball and in the ball select front plane and make it visible or select show similarly for uh, the wheel front plane and unhide or show it so now I make a coincident mate of the front plane of ball and front plane of the wheel just like this then another mate of ball with this face of wheel now press space key and select this view orientation rearrange the ball like this so now uh, make a duplicate of the ball so for that press and hold control key and uh, click and drag the ball for it uh, to make its duplicate okay now uh, again front plane of this ball and front plane of the wheel coincident mate and then tangent mate of ball with this face rearrange the ball like this so by doing so put the balls in all these slots so once again let's show you coincident mate and the tangent mate this view orientation and rearrange the balls so for the moment uh, right click on the wheel and fix it like this okay now these are the three balls and similarly by uh, making duplicates of each ball separately and then putting them in all these slots one by one uh, complete this process and so here you can see I have uh, uh, filled all these slots with the balls now let me rearrange the balls uh, according to the physical conditions like Now we can hide the planes. Okay, now let's talk about the motion analysis and before that make the wheel float and then click on the motion study here. And if you can see here animation drop down this menu and from here select 
motion analysis and then scroll down in this list and then expand the mates delete all these tangent mates press the delete button so make sure there is uh, there should not be um, any tangent mate so next step is that we have to tell the solid wax that there is a contact between the ball and the wheel so for that establish contacts between uh, each ball with the wheel so for that click on contact button here and then select ball and wheel then uh, if you can see here uh, scroll down solid bodies and then material apply the material whatever material you are using so um, let me leave this as it is acrylic then there is a friction and, uh, and if you can see acrylic have this friction coefficient then uh, scroll down impact and then here are the elastic properties so do not change these properties because they are linked with the acrylic so uh, or acrylic or whatever material you are using the, the elastic properties will appear automatically here so just press ok button so one by one establish the contact between ball and the wheels for all these balls and uh, uh, here is the time key and it is uh, if you can see here is uh, by default it is for 5 seconds so you can increase the time by dragging this key up to 12 seconds so now uh, let me establish the contacts for uh, rest of the balls with wheel I am changing the transparency because uh, I will do remember that I will I have started making contacts from this ball just simply select both of these things ball and the wheel and then press ok button again contact ball and wheel ok button So I have established the contact for all balls with wheel. Now we can change the transparency to solid for this ball. So now after establishing the contact between balls and the wheel, uh, now we have to tell the solid box that there is a gravity. So for that click on this button gravity and if you can see this is the value of the gravity and here is the direction of the gravity. So select Y if you can see uh, our axis Y, X and Z axis coordinate system. So uh, select Y axis here and if here you can see the direction of the gravity. So now uh, unsuppress this concentric mate between shaft and the wheel. And also make sure that wheel is uh, in float condition okay now press the calculate button and see what happens so uh, the calculation has been done and now we can play the simulation so these are the actual results when we build such type of um, gravity wheel this will happens now uh, let's do another thing by adding a motor so click on the motor button here and then select this circular face and specify the direction of rotation and I think this is ok if you want to um, reverse the direction click on reverse direction then here are the rpm revolution per minute and let's type here 5 rpm and then press ok button 
and again click on the calculate button calculations has been done and now uh, let us play and see what happens when we add motor in uh, the wheel so before that um, right click on the orientation and then disable play back or view keys press this button and then play so this is the result and this is how we can do solid works motion analysis using gravity and contact i hope you have enjoyed and learned from this video and uh, thanks for watching and sparing time don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel